American Beauty is your soldering, brazing, and thermal wire stripping solution provider. All right, this application, test and evaluation, is for BC Tech. And they've sent us some military connectors and some sample wires to put in. What we're going to do uh, on this first connection is we're going to, we've pre tinned the cables, as you can see, and we're going to pre fill the solder cups with solder. I'm using the uh, American Beauty 105. L5 system, which involves this uh, slightly smaller handpiece for accessibility purposes. I'm heating the solder cup in order to fill it with solder. I want to pre-fill it. These uh, solder cups are a little bit shallow, uh, which is another reason to have a smaller handpiece because you're working in a, a lot smaller, tighter area. To that, and I'm going to go ahead and finish filling that cup up with a little more solder. And this is really the hardest part about soldering this way is uh, having a, a big enough diameter of solder to fill it quickly because that's really the thing that takes the most time is the amount of fill time that it takes in those solder cups. We'll go ahead and get the other side, the same, the same application. The cable is pre-tinned and we're going to pre-fill this cup. Once the solder starts to melt in there, it melts a lot quicker because the liquid solder in there is actually helping to transition there to transfer that heat to better utilize the heat in the cup. Give that a moment to solidify in the cup. Now what we're going to do is uh, the similar application but without pre-tinning and pre-filling. So we'll just go ahead and switch these cables around into this other connector. And hold that right by the wires. Don't get too hard and high up on that. So okay, let me look from this side. Lean this back a little bit so I have an area to feed the solder in. Good. And again, once it starts flowing in there, it'll uh, start happening a lot faster because the liquid solder is going to help pull that heat, transfer that heat. And there's uh, a lot more solder required in this because it's not only filling the cup but also wicking into the wire. There we go. All right, Tim, let's go ahead and let that solidify and then we'll turn that around. Okay. As you can see that the first uh, approach that we took, um, pre-tinning and pre-filling, definitely is a, a smoother, faster approach than trying to fill this with the strand of wire without any solder there, because it takes a heck of a lot of solder to fill up that void. And that was pre-filling with the wire. They also have preforms that match that, uh, that yeah. size diameter. 
Right, and there are actually preformed uh, plugs that you just drop down in the cup and then heat it up, and as soon as it goes liquid, then you've got a predetermined amount of solder there, and then introduce your cable, and as soon as the, the solder's liquid, it'll sink fully into the cup, and you're finished. Click the videos on YouTube tab on our website to see more examples of our free in-house test and evaluation program.